Hello friends! Welcome to Learning is Fun, the classroom. I am so excited for today and something super fun that we get to learn about. But before we do that, let's go to our weather chart. Today, I'm not really sure what the weather is. I haven't been outside. So I think maybe I should look out the window. What do you think? Okay, will you look with me? Awesome, let's go. Hmm. Okay, I think I know the word for it, but let's come over here and look. Snowy, no, it's not snowing. Rain, no, there wasn't any rain. Cloudy. That's when there's lots of clouds and no sun. <gasps> the next one is partly cloudy. That's what it was. It was partly cloudy. So it had some clouds and the sun kind of peeking through the clouds. Yay, thank you. Okay, now to do our next part to figure out if it is sunrise, midday, or sunset, let's go up to our clock. Let's check the time. It is 7 p.m. Do you know what a seven looks like? It looks like this right here. Let's find it up here. Let's go around and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Now, to make this correct, we have to use the little hand to get to the seven. So will you help me move it? Thanks. Move. Seven. And then at the end of seven o'clock, it looks like this. So it has two zeros, zero, zero. And on a clock, when you have two zeros, you use the long hand on the 12. I know, that's pretty silly, isn't it? But it looks like it's in the right place already. Perfect. Now that means we need to use our arrow. It's a red arrow. We're gonna use that to figure out if it's sunrise, midday, or sunset. What one is in the evening time? That's right, sunset. We're gonna put it just past sunset. The next thing we have to do is figure out the temperature. And today it is at 90 degrees. Yeah, even still at 7 p.m. at night. I know, it's so hot. Move it up to 90. 90 degrees is pretty hot. So we're going to use hot, hot, H-O-T, hot. Today is hot. We have four options for seasons. Summer, fall, spring, and winter. We're in summer. So let's put that right here, summer. Now that we have done our weather chart and our clock, let's go to the letter of the day. Here's our letter of the day and our special topic of the day too. Are you ready to find out what it is? Okay, so our letter of the day is letter T. T, 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 T. We have a capital T, which is a big T. And then we have a lowercase T, which is a little T. A capital T has a hat right on top. And a lowercase t has a belt right on its waist. That's pretty cool, huh? I know. T is for, can you guess what it is? There's a picture. T is for traffic lights. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to tell you everything I know about traffic lights. Are you ready? Okay, let's go learn. So the first thing that we need to know about traffic lights are what is traffic? Do you know what traffic is? Traffic is cars driving down a road. 
it's cars moving. That's pretty cool. Now, traffic lights are pretty special. Do you wanna know why? They help all the cars driving down the road know when to stop, to slow down, and to go, which is very good because if we didn't know that, cars might be driving all over the place and that would not be safe. It would not be good to not know when to go because what if two cars were on either side? Then they would just have to sit there and wait and say, hey, are you gonna go? They wouldn't know. So traffic lights are really cool like that. They get to tell us when to do things. Now there are three colors on traffic lights. The first color is the color red. Red. And red means stop, stop. The second color on a traffic light is yellow. And yellow means slow down, slow down. The third color on a traffic light is green and green means go, 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 go. And that means you can drive. The three colors are in this very specific order on a traffic light. The top color is red. The middle color is yellow and the bottom color is green. I wanna tell you one more super cool thing about traffic lights. Traffic lights haven't been around forever. Did you know that? I know. The very first traffic light was put in in the year 1914. Whoa. And right now we're in the year 2022. So that was a long time ago, wasn't it? So traffic lights have been around for so long, helping us to know when to stop, slow down, and go, go, go. I love that. Now that we've learned some really cool facts about traffic lights, I think it's time for a craft. I'm gonna show you everything that you need for this craft. Are you ready? Okay, the first thing that you're gonna need is a empty paper towel roll. The second thing that you're gonna need is a glue stick. The third thing that you're gonna need is clear tape. The fourth thing is scissors. Now remember, when we're using scissors, we need to ask a grown up for help, right? Right, we don't just go get scissors without asking. The fifth thing, is something to use to trace a circle. And I'll tell you what tracing means if you don't know in just a minute. But we need something about this size. Then we need yellow paper, red paper, and green paper. Then for tracing our circles, we need a pen. It could be any pen, it could be a pencil, it could be a marker, it could be a colored pencil, but I'm gonna use a pen. And the very last thing that we're gonna need is a black paper, just a plain black paper. Okay, are you ready to do our craft? Okay, come closer. The first thing we're gonna do is take our black paper and our paper towel roll and our glue stick. We're going to open our glue stick and glue all of our black paper. Glue, glue, glue. As we're gluing, we're gonna put our paper towel roll in it and glue it up. Sometimes the glue won't hold it completely. So that means we might need a little extra something to make it stick, which is why we have our clear tape. So we're gonna take a few pieces of our clear tape and tape it down just in case. Now that we have our paper towel roll covered, we're gonna take our three colored circles. Now, I already traced my circles. Now tracing 
is taking an object and using your pen and going around it. So I did that already for each color. So since that's already done, I'm gonna take my scissors carefully with an adult's permission and cut my circles out. Okay, now all three of my circles are cut out. So that means we get to take our black paper towel roll and glue our circles on. But we have to remember, hmm, which one goes on the top? The top one is red. So we're gonna put glue all on the back. We're gonna take it and at the very top, we're gonna put our red circle. The next circle is our yellow one. And we're gonna take our middle circle, our yellow, and put it right down the center. Make sure to squeeze it just a little so that it will stick down. Our last circle is the green one. So we're gonna put our glue on that one. Then we're gonna stick down our green. Now, if it doesn't stick correctly and all the way down, you can always take a little bit of tape. And what you do is you roll it and fold it over each other and then put it right here under the green circle to help hold it down. There we go. Now we have our traffic light. I loved making that cool traffic light with you. Now that we've done that, I think that it is time for a song. So we're gonna bring out Mr. Joseph to sing a very awesome song about traffic lights. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Driving down the road, what do I see? A traffic light right in front of me. Red me stop. Yellow means slow down and green means go, go, go Green means go, go, go Driving down the road, what do I see? A traffic light right in front of me Red means stop Yellow means slow down Green means go, go, go. Green means go, go, go. I had so much fun singing that song. I think it's gonna be stuck in my head all day now. The next thing that I think we should do is right behind us. So let's go to that. Okay, so we have three colors on the wall that match our traffic lights. So we're gonna count how many of each. Do you remember what color is on the top of the traffic light? That's right, it's red. So let's look and count how many red circles there are. Let's start all the way up here. Are you ready? One, two, I think that's all. That's all the red circles, two red circles. Now. Do you remember what color is in the middle of a traffic light? That's right, yellow. Let's see how many yellow circles we have. Let's start all the way over here. One, two, three. Three yellow circles, three. Do you remember the color that is on the bottom of the traffic light. Green! Let's count how many green circles there are. Start all the way down here. One, two, three. Hmm, is there any other ones? You're right! Four! Four green circles! That's awesome. Now that we have done our counting, I think that we should do something new. Let's learn how to compare two things. I'm gonna ask you which traffic light is bigger and which traffic light is smaller. So, let's look at both of these traffic lights. 
Hmm. Which one is bigger? That's right! This one! Now, does that mean that this one is also smaller? No, this one's small. This one's big, and this one's small. Now, let's do our next one. Two traffic lights. Which one is bigger? This one! That's right! That means this one is smaller. Now let's do it one more time. One more. Which traffic light is smaller? This one is smaller. That's right. What about this one? It's bigger. Good job. That's right. You guys are so good at comparing. I'm so proud of you. Are you ready to do one last thing? Me too. Let's get ready for snack. I'm going to show you everything that you need to make this cool traffic light snack. Okay, for this super yummy snack, we need a few different things. We need a graham cracker. We need a banana, a kiwi, a strawberry, and we need a butter knife. Are you ready to make the snack? Okay, come closer. We are all ready for snack. I'm gonna move each of these off or to the side and put our large graham cracker right here. Now we're going to use a butter knife so make sure that if you're going to do that, you ask a grown-up. Even though it's a butter knife, it's still a little bit sharp. So we're gonna cut the top of our strawberry off. Move it right there. And then cut a nice slice. Mmm, that smells delicious. And put it right to the side. Then we're going to take our banana and peel it open. Now we won't need a lot of the banana so we don't need to peel it the whole way. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the end just so I can have not a curved piece. Then we're gonna take our banana and slice it. Have one little slice and put it right there to the side. Now we're gonna take our really yummy kiwi. We're gonna cut our kiwi right in half. With our kiwi, we might have to use a little bit of a spoon or something to scoop it out. So if you can't get it out without that, just put your spoon in and twist it around. Then we're gonna take our kiwi and cut a slice. Now that we have all of those cut, we're going to put our graham cracker here. And at the very top, we're gonna put our red strawberry. Red first, stop! And in the middle, we're gonna put our yellow banana for slow down. And at the very bottom, we're gonna put our green kiwi for go, go, go. And there you have it, a delicious traffic light snack. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had so much fun and I hope you learned something new about traffic lights. Ta, 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 traffic, traffic lights. I hope to see you next time and remember, learning is fun. Bye friends.